There is no reason in the world that you should ever, and I mean ever, bring one of those plastic dome containers filled with all that slick deli meat. Number one, it doesn't ever fit in the refrigerator. And you've got to think about space. There's got to be plenty of room for all of the other food to fit in. And plus, who in the world while they're mourning wants to fix a big old deli sandwich? To a grieving family, you always want to bring something that you can serve at either breakfast, lunch, or dinner. That's why I love to bring my Coca-Cola and brown sugar ham. I think probably one of the strangest traditions that we have is that a lot of people will specify exactly how they want their funeral day to go in their will. And I'm not talking just how they want the service to go, I mean every single aspect all the way down to what sort of scotch they want served and the shade of lilies that need to be picked for the casket cover as well as the flowers for the luncheon afterwards. We're gonna start with lots of bourbon. Um, we feel like there is absolutely no reason not to set up a full bar, especially if the one that's in the coffin enjoyed a little toddy around five o'clock. So lots of booze and lots of food is going to be the perfect way to celebrate the ends to one's life. One of our friends here at Southern Living had a grandmother that prepared all of the casseroles ahead of time and had them in the freezer just to make sure that the funeral food was absolutely perfect. Now some people may say that this is a little bit controlling, but in the South we think it's brilliant. You don't want anybody messing up your casseroles. I would be perfectly offended and probably come back from the grave if somebody did not make my green bean casserole properly. We know it's gonna have to start with a can of cream of, and that's just what I call it. It's a can of cream of chicken. It's a can of cream of mushroom. It's a can of cream of celery. It really doesn't matter. They're all completely interchangeable. These casseroles are the bedrock of all Southern funerals. And Lord, honey, if you throw some crushed up potato chips on top of it, that's just gonna make it all the better. Bringing more than one item to a funeral is really, really smart. Um, what I suggest though is that you bring something for them to eat that day or maybe the next day and then bring something that's going to go directly in the freezer. Make sure you have it in a Pyrex dish that's covered and labeled so that a month later when they pull it out they know what it is, where it's from, and how to prepare it. What Can I Bring is all about knowing what your friends and family need even before they know what they need and bringing it.